Hey there, my friends. Hope this message finds you well. As many of you know, as the cooler months start to approach us, I transition a lot of my growing efforts indoors. But what I want to talk with you about today actually deals with aquaponics. This is a 100-gallon tank that I picked up a while ago. I've had all kinds of fish in here. But it's not so much that I'm focusing on a fish. Today, I want to focus on growing plants using fish waste. And for about two years now, my 100-gallon tank and the fish I have inside have been sustaining this pothos plant. Uh, and as you can see, it's doing really well. And now my thoughts are, if this tank can sustain the life of a pothos with no problem, it should be able to do the same thing with lettuce. But see, we don't want to get aquaponics confused with hydroponics. And hydroponics, what we're doing is actually just using water and a nutrient solution to sustain the plant life. But when we're talking about hydroponics, there are some pitfalls to growing in a hydroponic system. And that main problem to me, when you're growing in hydroponics, you are limited to the capacity of the tank. All these roots get tangled all into the pump, get tangled into the filtration system. So it can make it very challenging when trying to grow plants over a long period of time. Hence the reason why a lot of times I just take my hydroponically grown plants and I'll plant them outdoors. But our main challenge there is that I live in Texas and during the summer months, there is no lettuce that's going to be grown outside, especially when we're getting in the high 90s and the triple digits. And this is when I had the epiphany to create my aquaponic system. As we can see right here, this is a simple system just using some scrap plexiglass that was left over from the greenhouse field. And then I placed a netted pot down in the center of this two inch hole. And now as the roots begin to grow and reach down into the water line, now we have the plant waste in the water sustaining our plants. And now what we've done is essentially created like a symbiotic relationship between the plants and the fish. The fish excrete into the water, and then in turn, the plants take that excretion, clean up the water, and then they thrive off of it. So now I have a self-sustained passive system that I don't really have to maintain. There's a multitude of different ways that this system can be done. I could have did it with PVC or it could have been done with uh, rain gutters. This is in my dining room, so I can't have pieces of PVC and rain gutters all over the place. The missus will never have it. In my opinion, this is now a self-sustained system. I have enough light that's coming off of this window. I have the water. I have the nutrients that's coming from the fish. I feel like this is a passive growing system. So if you'd like to know more about creating this kind of system for yourself, make sure to check out the details in the description where I list all the tools and products that I use. And I know you're seeing this vacant spot wondering if I forgot to plant something. Nope. I have a basil propagation that I took a couple of weeks ago that's been just suspended in some water here and i'm gonna place that down here as well because you know what i love always having my fresh basil so i'm gonna just grab those roots here they're nice and bound in there pretty good too and just see if i can separate them a little bit oh, y'all can't see any of it i'm gonna just go ahead and separate these roots out here and i'm gonna take these two basil propagations and then just drop them inside and there you go. Basil has joined the party. Now, in case you're worried about my fish, don't. These are actually fish that have been caught out by my creek. And we're talking about a few shiners. And we have a channel catfish that we've had for about five years. And they are perfectly fine. They are low-stress fish. One thing that I would like to note is that my fish aquarium is 100% fresh water and is 100% organic. The only materials that I use to soften the water or aloe vera base. So if you're thinking about doing this, if you're using sensitive fish or if you use any harsh chemicals in your aquarium system, this might not be the system for you. Now eventually one day I would like to get to a point where I can place tilapia in this tank. That way it's a two food growing system so I can harvest the tilapia as well as the lettuce. Additionally, I'm thinking about adding other plants that would do well in a hydro or aquaponics type situation, like strawberries as well. As you know, I grow a lot of strawberries out here. All right, gang. It's been fun talking to you as always. Talk to you again real soon.